With this movie, we pick up right where we left off with the last one, and that's looking at some of the basic functionality of bones, the do's and don'ts of drawing shapes so that the bones influence or bend the shapes correctly. We learned that when we highlighted the diving board here, we had to actually add some points so that this bends well at different points and doesn't just shear like the top one did. What we'll do in this movie is look at some of the layer options we've got to further enhance that bending motion, but also we'll explore an important concept that anime animates a lot for, but it doesn't automate everything. There's something to keep in the back of your mind, and that is inverse kinematics. Let me show you what I mean. With this layer of the object in the board bone two layer selected, I'm going to come over here and grab my manipulate bone tool, keyboard shortcut Z, and we'll see that we've got these areas of influence around here, and I want to talk about something before I start bending anything at all. I'm going to come back to our board bone layer two and double click on it. You can do the same thing by clicking on these three little dots and ellipsis there for layer settings. And I'll pull up this window. You'll notice now that I don't have a bones tab and that's because I clicked on the wrong layer before I activated that. Let me cancel this, come back and select board bone 2, double click on that and now we get our layer settings. It happens to include the bones tab which is what we're interested in. We've taken a look at the masking tab and as you just saw the bones tab only appears when you actually select the bones layer which we did here. By default the binding method selected is called flexible binding. Very shortly we're going to explore one called region binding and we'll set up a new bone structure in this document for that. But here's what flexible binding does. I'll go ahead and just accept this as it is. Flexible binding means that when you grab a bone say at the end out here and instead of a diving board imagine this is somebody's arm sticking straight out from their shoulder and this area over to the left is their shoulder. When I grab this bone and I pull it down. I'm clicking and dragging here or pull it up. We'll see a couple things going on. One is that this bone is bending right at the joint and because we added those two points or nodes to the actual drawn vector artwork it's flexing right here automatically for us. But the further away we get from the bone we see that it's still bending and influencing what's going on. This is what flexible binding does. It adds a property that in other software programs is referred to as inverse kinematics. Sounds really scientific, but it's just one of those Greek words that uh, is very specific in its meaning. Inverse means backwards, and kinematics means motion. So what that means here, and you can just take that forward into some other work you may be doing, is that when I grab here and make motion happen, the motion flows backwards through this chain and affects everything. Flexible binding means that the object or the area closest to this bone is the one most significantly affected by the change. So if I just go ahead and, and bend this by itself, I'm very significantly affecting this, but further down the chain, as I move things up and down, well, we get a little less influence going on. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag and pull this out straight here and release. Now the contrast to that in terms of the binding methods is region binding. What region binding is going to do is that we can confine the motion to very specific sections and it won't influence other areas. Let's go ahead and do that now. We've got our basic diving board bone layer right here. Just to speed things up I'm going to go ahead and whoops let me close up board bone 2. I'll expand that one, drag out the diving board and I'm just going to delete that layer by clicking on the trash can. It'll ask me if I really want to and the answer is really yes. So now we'll have to draw some new bones for this but before we do that I want to modify this art by just simply adding points to it and I'll just go one, two, three, and four and then on the opposite side I'll do the exact same here. And you can tell that as I click the add points we're getting a little bit of shift of geometry of the drawn shape and you can use the translate tool if you like to go ahead and pull individual points down and get them back into alignment. Let's add another bone layer. We'll come down to our add layer tool. We'll add bones. I'm going to go ahead and double click on this and we'll name it something meaningful like flex or region binding. 
I'll take the diving board layer and drag it back into the region binding one right now. I'm going to hide this other layer so we're not troubled with that right now. So we've got our diving board layer. We need to draw bones in here and let me do that. I will select the bone layer, the region binding bone layer here. We'll go ahead and add some bones. I'll go one, two, three, uh, four and five. We have many more bones this time and this is when you would want to consider doing this for something like fingers on a hand where you'll, you'll instead want region binding instead of flexible binding. If I choose the move tool here or the bone manipulation tool, we'll see we've got this inverse kinematic capability going on right now. Let me double click on this layer. We'll go over to the bones settings and this time I'll choose region binding and select OK. Now watch what happens here. We've got a much smaller area of influence it's visual for us to work with. When I work now, we still have a little inverse kinematics going on, but it is much more confined to the actual bones around it. It may not seem like much, but it gives you much finer control, and this area of influence we'll be taking a look at very shortly. I can actually reduce, and I can click that down to the, this area now for the region. When I come back to the Manipulate Bone tool, I can very much change how much is being affected by bending that bone. In our next movie, we'll go ahead and take a look at layer binding, which is a cousin of region binding.